y'all. This battle means by Amari. Back at you with another video. All right, so I'm not even going to review the whole manga. I'm just going to attack the point that I had an issue with. First, I just want to say, per the usual, Toyotaro's art is fantastic. He's a fantastic artist. Now, with that being said, this whole Bardock turning good or having a good heart or whatever was extremely forced. It really had no buildup to it. It's just something that they wanted to do to give Bardock some type of depth to his character. Now, that's fine. It happens all the time, you know, where, you know, like people get a heart that have killed a lot of people or whatever. Then they start to regret it. They start to want to change their lives. But there was no build up to it. It just came out of nowhere. Like, bruh. Five minutes ago, you just killed most, if not 100% of the planet. And now you 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 want to have a heart because you see a woman and her child. They actually show dead children on the ground. And now you want to get a heart? I, I don't, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it really doesn't. They, I guess they tried to show that because he had a baby, a new baby, Goku or whatever, that kind of uh, assisted in him not wanting to kill them. But Goku's not your first child. Remember Raditz? Why didn't you get a heart then? It doesn't make sense. Now, I don't know how many of y'all saw the movie uh, Wolverine Origins, but it led up to him. As you can see what I was saying, you can see that he started to get a heart through all the stuff they were going through, all the killing and stuff. And he was getting worried about Sabretooth constantly wanting to kill and enjoying it. So it was a buildup to him, you know, changing his heart, changing his mind, getting a conscience. This, this, the thing with Bardock, it didn't have any. It was so forced. Like, let's do this for Bardock to make him different. What? To, just to give him a different backstory like I said it that's just the way I feel about it and I hate the fact that they made him so much like Joel I mean we everybody compared Goku's backstory to Superman because he flew from a destroy a destroyed planet to earth that was really the only similarity now we have his dad who basically is Jor-El Bardock was perfect the way he was. Honestly, I'm waiting for a Star Wars moment. I'm waiting for Bardock to somehow come down and communicate with Goku. That's when I'm, I know it's, it's probably going to happen, bro. At this point, it's probably going to happen. Why are we bringing back Bardock? Why are we making Bardock relevant again? For the fans? This is what I'm talking about. Dragon Ball Super is the most fan servicey anime or story out. It really is. And there's nothing wrong with giving fans what they want. But when you're just trying to milk off nostalgia and just throwing things in there, it just ruins the story. That's why I, I'm so glad Dragon Ball Super is not canon to the original manga. And this is a, a completely separate timeline, just like GT is. That's That makes me very happy. So whatever so yeah like i said in the original manga bardock is still bardock the savage bardock that we know <laughs> that's it so yeah let me know what y'all think about this if y'all like bardock's backstory and i'll see you on the next video all right